uh, the studies uh, where they are still less uh, um, um, due to this method. So, um, let's talk about uh, laser, the name of the laser. It is an acronym and it's created from light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And it, uh, this laser was introduced by Albert Einstein at the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, in 1960, it was built the first laser unit. And at the end of 60s, E. Messer introduced the effect of laser beam on human body. The laser used in medicine are class three and class four. Uh, and class four is with multiplied effect by increasing the, the dose and the power. Uh, which are the laser beam properties? As we see, uh, the laser beam um, made uh, an effect of absorption inside the body and the laser beam can also be transmitted. It can be uh, scattered uh, and it's like a diffusion inside the body and uh, it can be reflected. The best wave of length uh, for a laser, laser beam in our body is between 1064 nanometers because of the absorption capacity of laser beam uh, in uh, some of human body molecules. As we see here in this uh, picture, the hemoglobin is absorbed about this uh, uh, wave of length. Uh, melanin also absorbed of the, has a, of the absorption of this uh, uh, wave uh, of length and also the water. So it is a, a therapeutic window at this kind of uh, uh, wave of land. So that is the reason that, uh, that we use the, this kind of laser device. Uh, about the physiological effects, there are uh, many physiological effects described in the literature, uh, like uh, the increasing of intracellular activity of many enzymes, in particular in Krebs cycle, the increasing of oxygen supply and improving the use of glucose in cells, the stimulation uh, of A and D synthesis, the increasing of fibroblastic activity, also the activation of phagocytes, uh, the activation of sodium and pot potassium membrane pump, the activation of intracellular metabolic process, um, the changes of local level of inflammation mediators like histamine and prostaglandins and in endorphins level. And we have also anti-inflammatory effects that they use in therapy that can be the stimulation of uh, cells, uh, polymorphonuclears and neutrophils. Uh, produce the activation of monocyte, uh, reduce the level of prostaglandin and the uh, support of prostacycline secretion. Which are the most important clinical effects that we, we use in practice? Well, there are two, two effects, two important effects, and uh, there are the analgesic effect, in pulsed mode, uh, using high intensity power, a high intensity laser with high, high power um, and this uh, kind of emission, pulsed emission, stimulates the A fibers and blocks the gate for pain transmission, according to Melza gate theory. And the other important clinical effect is biostimulation. It's the ability to biostimulate the tissular growth and the repair of the cellular, uh, at the cellular level. But we have another important uh, biological effect that was described the first time in 1993. Uh, that, and this is the uh, effect of uh, Schwann cell stimulation. That is important because we can use uh, this kind of therapy in neurological rehabilitation of peripheral nerves. 
Uh, what are the indication? The indication for this therapy is in acute and chronic disease of joint, in ruptures and muscle contraction, in tendonitis, in trigger points, in epicondylitis, and uh, also it's very important uh, the use in lumbar sacralgia, in hair, in um, disc hernia, and also in the um, scapulohumeral joint for impingement syndrome, and uh, also for scars and open wounds. Well, in the last two years, uh, I saw that uh, this kind of therapy is used in uh, a COVID situation. And uh, that is the reason that we started to use it in uh, post-COVID rehabilitation for um, pulmonary rehabilitation and also for other um, kind of um, symptoms uh, in uh, syndrome uh, of post-COVID. But my presentation for today is about uh, a study that I made uh, uh, before the pandemic situation about um, uh, lumbar disc uh, hernia with motor deficit. So you have, we, had, uh, we made a study that uh, had a um, few objectives like uh, to select the, the two complex standardized, uh, standardized uh, rehabilitation program for lumbar disc hernia uh, with application in lumbosacral area um, for a patient that was uh, operated or not operated, but they still had a deficit, a uh, uh, peripheral deficit. Uh, about uh, L5 or S1 um, radiculopathy. And the uh, second objective was to select some parameters, parameters for disability evaluation that we can use in clinical practice uh, to evaluate and to compare the impact of these uh, two complex rehabilitation program and uh, to select some uh, param parameters for disability evaluation. And we uh, have to analyze the data after all this uh, evaluation. We have uh, material and ma method. We uh, evaluate 99 patients in our clinical uh, rehabilitation department who were diagnosed with, uh, with lumbar dyspnea at level L4 or L4 to L5 or L5 to S1, operated or not, like I said before, with a radicular motor deficit. Group one um, had 35 patients and uh, they received a treatment my, made by a complex rehabilitation program that include high intensity laser and also physical therapy associated with it medication. Group two, uh, made by uh, 30 patients receive a, uh, this uh, physical treatment without heal therapy and uh, associated with medication. And group three, made by 31 patients, receive only medication. We saw in this picture the device that we use, the uh, high intensity laser device, and we uh, use it in two phases. Phases one, uh, it was used uh, by um, um, circular mo movements at a power of uh, 10 uh, watts, uh, 25 hertz frequency. We uh, tell, I tell you before that uh, in um, this kind of uh, uh, using the therapy, we uh, use the pulsed mode uh, to access the gate therapy, the, um, to close the gate for uh, the pain. Uh, we used uh, the uh, wave of length that I mentioned before, 1,064 nanometers. Area to treat in the lumbar um, column was about 25 centimeters for one minute and 40 uh, uh, seconds. In the phase two, the biostimulation phase, we use linear move movements and the device uh, was set uh, with continuous mode 
got six weight volts and the dose was 100 joule by uh, quarter centimeters. The wave on leg uh, uh, was the same, area of the treat was the same. And the time was calculated by the device uh, at uh, six minutes and um, uh, 55 seconds. The physical therapy that we used in uh, uh, our study um, consists in the following succession of physical agents. Low, in, low intensity magnet field therapy for analgesic and anti-inflammatory effects, galvanic bath uh, used for uh, increasing the, uh, the muscle's excitability and uh, deep vasodilatation of the extremity of the limb with the association of the water effect, uh, a little warm water effect, uh, water about a water temperature about uh, 36.5 um, degrees Celsius. Um, another therapy that we use in this program was uh, the electrostimulation with exponential pulse uh, pulses uh, for decreasing muscle atrophy. And also we use, we use the whirlpool bath for lower limb for um, uh, many benefits about the improvement of blood supply with the oxygen of the muscle, for the improvements of uh, blood circulation, anti edematous and relaxing effect. The program continues with relaxing and analgesic therapeutic massage in the lumbar area and also tonic massage on the affected gamba. The kinetotherapy session um, consists of program Williams um, that we use in uh, the phase one and two for the first phases. That is uh, um, uh, about um, a few exercises uh, with uh, a very slow mode use. And also I told you before, all the patients receive medication, drug therapy indicated for anti-inflammatory effect and analgesic effect. During 10 days of therapy, all the program was uh, applied during the 10 days of therapy. The parameters that we uh, choose to use in study was um, of course, demographic uh, data about age and sex, but uh, we uh, also measure the body mass index according with who recommendation. And also we ask the patient about the reason of presentation, um, uh, whether, whatever the reason is uh, disability or also it's a pain. Uh, and also we ask about and measure about uh, we made measures about functional parameters. And uh, this, is, uh, this was a disability caused by low back pain. We evaluated using Oswestry low back pain uh, disability questionnaire. We used also the up and go test. We quantified uh, about uh, three uh, measures, so like part easy to medium uh, and three uh, impossible. Uh, also, also, we use um, the measure of contracture. We uh, uh, quantify the presence of the, or the absence of local contractor on the paravertebral um, lumbar column. And uh, the luna, lumbar column mobility, uh, we evaluate it with the Schober test. And um, we analyze uh, the data with non parametric taste, the man with knee test and the crucial role test. Uh, I forgot to mention that all our patients uh, uh, sign on um, uh, consent and um, informed consent. And uh, about the conclusion of the test, uh, I can tell you that the disability was the most common reason of presentation in our rehabilitation department, about 50% uh, in our patient. The OSIS3 score was remarkably better for group one. The group one received the heal therapy and the group three had the lowest improvement at this score. 
for the score of uh, up and go test for group one, it was also uh, the better, the best results. Uh, they, there was an improvement with 64%. The second group uh, has an improvement with uh, only 25.9%. And that is different is duty of high intensity laser therapy that beneficiated group one supplementary. And also the group three, who received only medication, had an insignificant improvement, about 0.1%. Um, the conclusion of my study is uh, that the result of the study showed that uh, uh, high-intensity laser has uh, superiority uh, using in all these complex rehabilitation program for improvement of uh, the disability in uh, uh, lumbar disc hernia, hernia with motor defi deficit uh, on medication, medication use only. Also, the complex rehabilitation program that include high intensity laser proved the superiority uh, for the disability improvement versus the complex rehabilitation program, which did not use this therapy. Uh, since we uh, finished the study, we uh, we extend the this study that is finished uh, uh, in about uh, 2018. And since then, then we use um, a lot of patients uh, this kind of program uh, made by high intensity laser and uh, um, the other uh, physical therapies, and also, of course, uh, with uh, association of the medication. And the results uh, are, um, um, will be, will be uh, published in uh, next year, I hope. The results uh, confirm to be, um, to be uh, superior, this kind of treatment for this uh, patient that have uh, this uh, disability um, before the motor deficit uh, um, in the radiculopathy of uh, lumbar disc hernia. So um, I'd uh, like to thank you about your uh, attention. And um, if there are any questions, I like to, to answer at uh, this kind of, uh, well, maybe not something one, somebody wants to um, find uh, and to know uh, supplementary information.